내가 Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from beyond. Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Jesse Faden. Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. But you always knew where we were headed. I heard you closed the Hiss portal, or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. And if we could just flush out the stragglers. So, what's next for Simon and Reish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire Bureau. Fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but... Well, you pulled us back from the brink. Well, I'm on to serve, man. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. Go get it one day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in Hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench. Once they're done hunting his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. Well, thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but... She said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? 
Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But, uh, she was by herself. If that helps at all. Not really. But thanks. Hopefully she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Y yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. You were right to shut it down. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? 
I'm still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. The fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm gonna consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. But don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which, I'm guessing, must be... Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane, and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is.
Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. If the slide object requires a slide to dimensional doorways, then which is the object of power? The slide or the slide projector? Or is the distinction itself a fallacy? really suits Ati. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. My life's been a my life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like, but this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son. The supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. foundation.
only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything.
The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. 